So you can see that I'm already connected to the splash top instance. I have my toolbar up here with all the different menu items. I want to click here and showcase that I do have Wacom Bridge already activated. That means I have my pressure sensitivity and it's the host machine is reading all the data from my local tablet. So I'm using a Cintiq Pro 27. There's three main things that we want to highlight with Project Mercury specifically. One is that any express keys or pen button settings or settings in general I'd have set up for my Cintiq are automatically read by the host machine. So I don't have to spend time setting up the host driver. Matter of fact, I can't get into that driver. It only reads from the local end, which is super handy, meaning that you can have your similar workflows based on to wherever you're connecting. Number two is that those settings can be mapped to any software available on both machines. Uh, number three, we have Wacom Ink Line, which sort of helps bridge the gap from any latency created by a distance like this, especially. And number four is that I'm not forfeiting the use of this tablet to the host machine. I can still control my local laptop with my Cintiq by switching using display toggle or minimizing the window. I can control both computers simultaneously. I don't have to lose control locally just because I'm using a remote connection. So pretty powerful stuff. Before we get any further, I want to talk about the distance here. So my local machine is set up in Ottawa, Canada, and I'm connecting to the server over in Portland, Oregon. So that is a quick 2,600 mile jaunt back and forth. This is showcasing something that we've never been able to accomplish before. So like a complete remote connection, so where anywhere in the world can connect to different servers and still get the performance needed to create work. So right now I've got an orange paintbrush. I have Mercury Inkline turned off, so I'm just gonna showcase how this works on a performance level. So I've got an idea that I sort of stick with all the time for these demos is a nice car. So I've got my horizon line. I can throw down a couple of ellipses for wheels, some hips, and just start sketching. So again, I've drawn this car about a thousand times. It's always a little bit different but you can see that sure there is some jumpiness on this cursor and a little bit of gap that is certainly noticeable, but doesn't hinder the creative process in any way. So previous to the most recent builds, yes, I could get the cursor to move on, you know, a remote connection at this distance, but it was not at any point where I was comfortable drawing at this speed you sort of drawing based on the performance instead of based on what you have in mind or what you want to put down on paper. You're sort of adjusting your designs based on the performance of your hardware. And that's not what we want. And certainly not what uh, studios or customers are looking for. But I want to jump into Wacom Center. Now I'm going to jump over to the Project Mercury tab. Now I want to show Mercury Inkline. So Inkline is a connection between the local and the remote cursor. So like I said, there's going to be a gap or some latency at this distance. This sort of fills that gap. And I'm gonna show two different workflows. So right now I wanna bump up this to be quite large. I'm gonna leave the fade time by default, which is at 100 between short and long. And I wanna have a black incline so it, it, you can see it based on the uh, orange brush or let's switch up a bit, let's go to blue. So now I have ink line active and I got a blue pencil now. So you can see every time I, as soon as I put the pen down on the screen, there's a black line that's sort of giving me immediate feedback, which is what you're looking for when working with a, a pen. It's sort of, when you're not waiting for the, the line to finish, you can just move on to the next one without really thinking of it. When you're working at a significant ping time, like the one I'm dealing with without something like a solution like this, you're, you're, you're waiting and basing your next line on something that you're you're guessing on so you don't exactly know where that stroke ends before you're creating your next one which is tough and a lot of people don't like it understandably here it's giving me feedback immediately i know what's happening now i'm not happy with the sketch but you can see that it's, it's getting laid down pretty quickly the workflow that i really like is if i match my colors and the brush size it really hides the difference so now I want to cover how I typically work with Inkline uh, with the splash top connection. So I've got a black paintbrush, it's a tapered paintbrush here. If I go into Wacom Center and pull up the fade time of my Inkline stroke, I generally like to live at around 140. 
Uh, I've got an eight pixel brush, so I'm gonna pull down the brush size down to eight to mimic the size. I wanna make sure that pressure sensitivity is on. Uh, and then we can just get to work. So same thing, I'm gonna sort of draw over my base sketch here. I'm gonna hit shift and throw down my horizon line. And I can loosely draw in the same ellipses just to sort of give an idea of where I'm at. Um, and now it's just a matter of fine tuning the graphics of this car design and sort of playing with things as it happens. So you can see that the incline is there, but it's not as noticeable because it blends in with the tool that I'm using. So I'm doing some cross hatching from a distance. Normally I can zoom in for a workflow like this, but it showcases that I'm getting my big swooping lines at the performance that I need to be focused on the creative aspect as opposed to the performance aspect. One aspect of the remote connection that we haven't really talked about yet is the security and IP protection. So if you're working on, you know, specific IP that doesn't want to leave the uh, studio or on-site on -site premises, you can certainly set it up that way. Uh, we have it set up so that I can move things from my local desktop directly into this host machine. So I can use my funky wheel brush that I'll show in a minute. Uh, and I don't have to worry about rebuilding my brush set every time I jump to a new computer, uh, which saves a lot of time and frustration and it lets you just sort of focus on the work and get the job done. Sure, we get this performance with a, with a nice tidy small paintbrush. You can really see where the performance jump up with a huge brush stamp with a lot of brush data, but it's just firing off so quickly. And just like that, just a few seconds I got a couple rendered wheels now that's pre-baked into my uh, brush set hopefully it's showcasing the speed of how these things are working out it's not just the sketching that we're able to catch the performance on it's the full painting rendering workflow now this is a truncated really loose and sloppy version but I do want to showcase a bunch of tools in the app a bunch of different brush sizes and workflows working with layers and different fills and a whole bunch of different things to make something cool. So to wrap things up, Splashtop and Wacom Bridge with Project Mercury provide a remote desktop solution that far exceeds what we've seen in the past for creative workflows. Mercury Inkline provides the ability to connect to a server across the continent and still get a sketching performance that allows you to focus on the work at hand instead of the performance or lag that you might be experiencing. The ability to control your local and remote computers with the same tablet and not forfeiting the complete use over to the host machine. Carrying over express key settings and pen button settings to the host machine without having to navigate through the driver on the other end. I hope this demonstrates just how incredible this technology is.